What's up, you guys? Today I'm going to do a real quick showing of my wife's Bible. This is the Bible that she's had for a very, very, very long time. And uh, it's, you know, going to show you the tear. It is a old Holman reference Bible, red letter, King James, Holy Bible. You can tell this thing's been used. It is like a bonded leather, um, like a burgundy color. This was her Bible. Um, this thing's been battered beaten and used. This is what the Bible is supposed to look like. But I'm doing this review today or this video just to show you guys, I like premium Bibles. I have nothing against premium Bibles and I have nothing against um, people collecting Bibles. I do reviews. I love it. I think it's fun. It's a good hobby. I'd rather see people collect Bibles than collect matchbox cars or collect baseball cards, whatever. Um, it's Bibles. It's God's word. Collect them, use them. But this is proof that you don't have to have a premium to last you many, many years. Um, now, granted, these are these were made nice. This is the inside cover. Um, it could use a little glue. Look, she's even wrote her name. This thing's got writing and stuff all in it. She used this Bible through her teenage years, you guys. I could put some glue on that and, and glue this back down. But it's natural. It's nothing ever been done. No, re no repairs or anything. You'll see writing throughout... There's uh, the lady that bought it for her. There's my wife's name, Heather Renee. It's Fleet now. She was a deal. 1993. This is this was my wife's everyday carry. Like this Bible went everywhere with her. For real. Like, look at this. Um, look at that. She received the Holy Ghost in 2002. Um, this is absolutely incredible. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um writing everywhere absolutely everywhere authorized king james my wife is a king james user this bible is copyrighted in 1985 absolutely incredible um it's a 90 or 87 print i don't know which one it is it's a 90 or 87 it was printed in the united states of america um this is just an older holman king james bible but i'm just going to kind of flip that this paper's nice really nice paper um, there's an outline. It actually has book, uh, the, the book outlines. And then st this is a nice Bible, to be honest with you. But I want you to kind of see all the writing in it. It does. It is a sewn binding, um, of course. That's one of the reasons it's lasted so long. But she has writing and highlighting. I'm just going to kind of just think. I mean, there's like, look at that. Like, I'd say probably... I don't know, 70% of the pages of this Bible have something written on it. This is a Holy Ghost filled um, Pentecostal um, teenager's Bible, y'all. Uh, I love this thing. She don't even know I'm doing this. She's gone right now. But this is the woman that I'm proud of. This is my wife. Um, I love her very much. She's the one that got me back into the church whenever I was living for the world. And uh, man, this is great. And my wife loves the King James Bible. So just kind of flipping through so you guys can see it. This is an old, nice Bible. There's something like pages of something that's been torn. Um, not It's not this Bible. This Bible's still good. I mean, she can still carry this thing. Look at that. Still use it. Lays flat. Torn, battered ribbon. It's got, she's got knots tied in it. <laughs> um, anyway... It's just a bonded leather Bible, you guys, that she's used and used heavily. <laughs> Lots of writing. Oh, and not only is this Bible, this Bible proof that you don't have to have a premium Bible that'll last you a long time, but it's also proof that you don't have to use premium highlighters and pens. Um, yes, there's areas with bleed through, but I'm telling you, the majority of the writing and underlining in this is from a cheap glick, big click pen. Like, what in the world? I see people, I've talked about this before, and people are like, oh my God, you got to have a Pigma Micron. And uh, I totally disagree. <laughs> you don't have to. Um, if you're using, if you're write, writing in a premium Bible, yes, use a nice pen, use a Pigma. But you guys, this is what a Bible's supposed to look like. Um, you know, we get fancy and we get materialistic and we run around with our high-end Bibles. And uh, I think sometimes we look at the covers more than we do what's inside the cover. 
And uh, just saying, you guys, this is this is incredible. This is proof, like I said, once again, we don't have to go all out. And, uh, man, she's got sermons in here that people have preached. And she's, it's just amazing. My wife, my wife as a, in, as a teenager, man, she was in the Word. Now she's in youth ministry with me. So, anyway, you, you guys can see this. I'm just kind of running my mouth and flipping through it. But I just want you guys to be encouraged. You, you guys that collect high-end Bibles, I'm not against it. I love collecting high-end Bibles. Matter of fact, I, I'm collecting the Thomas Nelson premiere line and stuff. Uh, something for me to put up and cherish and pass down to that one. What's up, Kinley? Pass down to her and... Uh, one day and, and my other one Alina but anyway just flipping through here there's just all kinds of cool stuff just neat 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 Bible you guys it's something that she's proud of something that I'm proud of you can see here how it's sewn really nicely done um, just really nicely made Bible this is something kind of funny I'm gonna add in the video this says Heather loves and it was somebody's name there and it's been, she had to like take it out. It was one of her ex-boyfriends or something. And she had to cut it out and put Jesus. Ain't that funny? I think some of my Bible uh, friends would love that. But hey man, this was her Bible as a teenager. I encourage you guys to uh, write in your Bibles. <laughs> this is what she done. This really cool. So anyways, I just wanted to go through that and let you guys know that it does not take a premium Bible to last many years. 1993 is when she was given this Bible. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Just a little fun one for me to do to show you um, my wife's Bible. She loves Jesus and we do too. And we love you guys. Hey, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share. Uh, Kelly, you tell her bye-bye. Bye. Bye, people. Wave at them. Look. Look, look at me. Hurry, the people are looking. They're looking, they're looking. All right, you got your Bible, your, your bottle. Bye. In there. Bye, people. Say love you. Love you. All right. All right, you guys. Like, subscribe, share. Have a great night.